and then what we can do from here let's add the plus button here so uh, let me just check if I have react native vector icons installed Okay, I don't have it installed at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'll just export this icon and use that instead. So desktop, React Native Superbase. Let me go ahead and create a source folder. And then inside my source folder as well, I'll just create an assets folder and export that there. Let's see if we have it. Okay, there we go. Awesome. And then I can just say import add item icon from source assets let me just rename this icon to add icon cool there we go and then let's go ahead and add a view here this will be our add new item view And then for this new add item view, so this will be this whole entire view of our add button. So we'll just say style equals styles dot add button. Okay, and then Start off with the width and height. So width will be 77. So is the height as well. Then background color. Copy it from Adobe XD. Then border radius. Let's see how that's looking. Oops. Okay, let's just make it 100. Perfect. And then we'll say display flex. Okay, let's say bottom first, zero. And then right. also be zero and then we'll give it a position of absolute okay awesome maybe let's make that fixed instead okay fixed is not allowed so we'll keep absolute and let's give it a margin right of about okay let's keep it the same as our uh, default margins that we have here for the painting. So that will be 15. Awesome. And then the painting bottom will remain as it is. So maybe should we bring it up a bit? Yeah, maybe let's do that margin bottom. Let's make it 15 as well. Okay, let's bring it to the left a bit. Uh, let's say 20. A bit more, 25. Perfect. And then for our drop shadow, let's do this. So React Native drop shadow. We'll use a drop shadow generator. Cool. Let's just copy all of this. 
then we can paste it on there. There we go. So we have our button and the drop shadow, and then we can just put our add item inside there. Our add icon, sorry. So for that, we'll just import image. Then our source will be the add item icon that we imported there. And then we'll go ahead and style that as well. Then let's get the width and height of our icon from here so it'll all be the same width. Then just change the comma there to a point. And then height will also be the same 29.31. Oops. This to be source. Awesome. And then uh, for our add button view, let's just uh, center our items there. So uh, let's come here, say align items, center, and then justify content. Center as well. Awesome, there we go. And then perhaps we can add a touchable opacity around this so that it's clickable. Let's go ahead and import that touchable opacity. And obviously we'll have a function uh, that we'll call to add new items when this uh, button is clicked. So touchable opacity. Perhaps we could do this instead. Ah, much better than we can remove the view basically. And wrap everything around the touchable opacity. Yeah, there we go.